Hello, I'm Dave Karger. Thanks for joining me here on TCM, where our theme for the night is sister stories. Up next is a madcap comedy based on the real life adventures of a pair of small town sisters trying to navigate life in the big city. From Columbia in 1942, it's My Sister Eileen. The movie was adapted from a series of short autobiographical stories written by Ruth McKenney. McKenney was a journalist who chronicled her experiences growing up in Ohio and moving to New York City with her younger sister Eileen, who was an aspiring actress. They didn't have enough money to afford anything luxurious, so they landed in a living situation that provided plenty of fodder for comedy. It's a basement apartment in Greenwich Village filled with wacky neighbors and situated directly above a subway construction site. Ruth McKenney originally published her memoirs as short stories in the New Yorker magazine and then compiled them as a book in 1938. Two years later, a stage adaptation premiered on Broadway and was an immediate hit. It ran for three years and was still running when Columbia Pictures mounted this film version in 1942. That meant that audiences could either see Shirley Booth perform the part of Ruth McKenney on stage or head to the movies to see Rosalind Russell play her on screen. The role was a perfect one for Russell, who had just made a splash playing another fast-talking journalist in His Girl Friday. Her performance as Ruth McKenney earned Russell an Oscar nomination for Best Actress, the first of four nominations in her career. From 1942, also with Brian Ahern, Janet Blair, and a cameo from a certain rising comedy trio at the very end, here is my sister Eileen. Before it came to the big screen in 1942, My Sister Eileen premiered as a stage play on Broadway in 1940. But tragically, the real Eileen McKenney died just four days before the Broadway opening. She and her husband, writer Nathaniel West, were both killed in a fatal car accident. But McKenney's memory was kept alive, and not only through the play and the 1942 film. Rosalind Russell went on to star once again in a musical version called Wonderful Town that opened on Broadway in 1953. Then, in 1955, a new musical version was produced by Columbia Pictures, starring Janet Leigh, Betty Garrett, Jack Lemmon, and Bob Fosse. That adaptation was written and directed by Richard Quine, who appeared in the film we just saw, playing the role of Frank Lippincott, the drugstore soda jerk. Up next is another story about sisters based on a series of memoirs. It's an MGM musical from 1944, starring Judy Garland and Margaret O'Brien. 